Hello guys, welcome to the channel and in this video I will show you how you can draw a circle if you are given with the coordinates of the center of the circle and the radius of the circle and for that guys I will use GeoGebra and after that I will also show you how you can use a code written in Python language to do the same thing. So let's get started. So guys I have already opened the GeoGebra classic and in this in order to draw the circle first go to the panel shown on the top of the screen and here you just have to see the image that it shows that is circle just click it here and take the second option now what you have to do is first you will have to place your pointer at a location on the graph now this pointer will represent the location of the center of the circle so once you place a pointer at that location you just have to click here now a pop-up window is open and here you will have to define the radius of the circle that you want to draw so let's say I want the radius to be 3 okay so guys I do have a circle with the coordinates of the center to be 0, 0, and the equation of the circle to be x square plus y square equal to 9. So that is how you can draw a circle at any location within the graph using GeoGebra. So now guys I'll show you how you can use Python code to do the same thing. So guys as you can see on your screen I have written the code in Python language and I'm running this code in Jupyter Notebook. So what this code will do is it will first ask for the user input for the coordinates of the center of the circle and after that uh, it will ask for the radius of the circle to be. So I'll just run the code and I'll show you. So first, first it is asking for the coordinates of the center of the circle. So let's take the coordinates to be 0, 0. So the coordinates of the center is 0, 0. Now it is asking for the radius of the circle. So I'll take 3. Enter. And the radius of the circle is 3. And the equation that, it, that the code returns is x square plus y square minus 9 equal to 0. So that is true. And it also returns the graph of the circle as you can see on the screen so guys that is all for this video guys if you have anything that you want to know please do comment please like subscribe and share and i will see you in the next video thank you